Hey, I'm Ian Cummings at the Kansas City Star. Tonight we learned a little bit more about the victims of a triple slaying in Kansas City earlier this week. One of them was Shannon Rollins Jr., a popular dancer who had performed with the rapper Tech 9 He would have turned 19 tomorrow, but instead is scheduled to be buried. We also are following up on the story of a Florida man charged yesterday in a supposed bomb plot that would have targeted Kansas City. And we were visited by a bus full of nuns on their way to Washington, D.C. to see the Pope and spread the word about people living in extreme economic hardship and poverty. Check those stories out at KansasCity.com. Hi, I'm Scott Cannon, a reporter here at the Kansas City Star. I worked with Tony Rizzo on a story about Joshua Goldberg, a 20-year-old from Florida who's been charged with uh, allegedly helping out in a bomb plot in Kansas City. It was bomb plot that was never going to happen because the person on the Kansas City end was somebody working with the FBI. Uh, but we look at whether Kansas City might be a target for terrorism. The reason why that is any more likely here or any less likely here. Hope you take a look. This is Brian Burns, reporter with the Kansas City Star. Today, Friday, the nuns on the bus stopped in northeast Kansas City. They're on their way to Washington in preparation for the visit of Pope Francis to the nation's capital next week. The sisters are collecting stories of economic, economic hardship and families in crisis, which they often attribute to uh, families trying to get by on the minimum wage and dealing with the nation's immigration policies. Read more at KansasCity.com.